I know this thing that we call life is hard. And I know people think that when they build a relationship with God or, you know, they get saved through the blood of Jesus that your life gets easier. And I'm sorry if a lot of people are out here leading you guys on to let you think that. However, that is not the case. And it's sad that the image of God or your relationship with God gets watered down by people for the likes, the comments, the shares, the fame, and it's not cool. I wanna be the one to tell you that just because you gain a relationship with God, your life is not going to get any easier. In fact, things get harder the minute that you say yes to God. And I'm gonna tell you why, because the minute that you say yes to God, you start walking out your purpose. And the enemy's purpose is to not allow us to fulfill God's will. So he's going to try to do anything and everything he can to knock us off this path. And, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, y'all. And yes, God does give us the tools to navigate this thing called life. He is there every step of the way. And any time that we go through something, any trial that we face, any hardship that we face, God is right there to pick us back up and help us to pick up the pieces. And he does allow things to go on in our lives, but it's only to teach us, to build us, to mold us, to shape us, and to help us to grow stronger in our faith with him. Please don't give up on your relationship with God, or please don't not go into a relationship with God because you don't want to face the hard times or you think that God is not going to be there with you. That is further from the case. He will be right there with you every step of the way. And I want you to know that and I want you to understand that because I'm here to tell you that God is faithful, he can and he will. When all you're doing is come across a lot of videos that say, you know, God told me to tell you or God is gonna bless you next week God is going to give you a house and God is going to give you a car and God is going to do this and God is going to do that. And you're not hearing anything about the hardships and you're not hearing anything about, you know, the deliverances and things like that. You need to start fact checking those and immediately go into the Bible because it's not always going to be peaches and rainbows when you are living your life, when you are walking with Christ. It's not. I'm sorry, but it's not. But the relationship with God can be beautiful, and it is beautiful. And I promise you, you will appreciate everything that he allows you to go through when you have gone through it. And you look back at your life and you see how far you have came. When you see how, when you see how far you have come from the time you start, when you first started walking with God until the person that you are now. It's, it's so beautiful. It's like we are, you know, cat. Ca I cannot say this word, caterpillars growing into a butterfly. It's a process. And that's what it is with God. It's a process. It's not an overnight process. It's not a popcorn process. It's not a microwave process. It is a process. It is a crock pot process. So to bring this message home and to sum it all up, I just want you to understand and I want to say that this road is not going to be easy, but it is worthwhile and God will guide you every step of the way. And if there's anything that you are unsure about or you are uncertain about, all you got to do is open up your Bible. The Bible is literally a navigation through life for us, but you can't do nothing on your own, but you can do everything in Christ. Y'all be blessed, not stressed, and y'all have a beautiful day. I love y'all. Bye.